Sorry about that, I just have to go down my garden so that I can talk to you guys without my kids hearing because, yeah, I don't want them to know anything yet. Okay, so this video is a little bit exciting because this morning I woke up and I got a little bit impatient and I said to Glenn, can we test? Because we're trying for a baby and, um, it's first cycle of trying and it's baby number five and I um, I ovulated like just over a week ago so it's still pretty early and tomorrow's Father's Day and I'd planned on testing on Father's Day and if it came out positive then I was going to give it to Glenn as a surprise but I decided that no I can't wait because <laughs> I'm too impatient for that so I um, so I said to Glenn, like, let's, can, can we test? I said, but if it comes off, it's going to be so faint. Like it's going to be really faint. So don't expect a strong line or anything. So anyway, um, I paid on the stick. That was the first response, the best ones. Um, and we waited a while and then we looked at it and then we could start to see a second line coming up but it was still so faint so I don't know what to think about it I mean they say they say a line's a line but I still I'm just not sure I don't know I don't want to get my hopes up too much because it's pretty exciting but anyway so we're gonna test again tomorrow um, just to make sure I mean in another 24 hours it should be a little bit darker yeah. But it's still early. Tomorrow was still going to be early, but it should show up a little bit. So anyway, I'll show you. I don't think you can even see it on this. It's that light. But I mean, like, if the guy can see it, then it's usually there. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't actually have to look for the line. It was there right in front of us. But yeah, it's... I mean, it's still there. But I... I don't know. I can't... I don't think it'll show up. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I have no idea. <laughs> it's really exciting though. I can't wait. This will be baby number five. It's the last time I'm doing this. The last baby I'm going to have. So oh, I'm just going to enjoy this whole experience. You know, the the, te the excitement of trying and testing and, um, and then the whole pregnancy. It's the last time that my body is going to get to go through this. And it is so amazing. Like having a baby is the best thing in the world you just it's hard but it is so rewarding like that's what they say and it really is anyway okay I'm getting called by the kids <laughs> my time's up to talk to a camera um, and I'll update you tomorrow morning which you'll find out in a minute in a second <laughs> good morning So it's time. I'm gonna go test. He's still asleep, but I'm busting the pee, so I'm gonna go test right now. How cute is he? God, I want another one of these. He's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Good morning, I've just tested, I'm back in bed. I haven't looked yet and I'm really excited. And it's only been about, it's only been about two minutes, so i just keep waiting. I could probably look now. I'm gonna look now. Hmm. 
It's definitely a lot. <laughs> See it on the camera. So it's already got darker in one day. You're going to be a big brother. You're going to be the big one. Yes. Yep. Not the little one. Not the little guy. Bop bop. Bop bop. Bop bop. going to be a bop bop. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm nervous. Oh. oh, hello, Tiger. Okay, so I've just come outside. It's like 10 o'clock now. I've um, made pancakes with the kids. It's Father's Day. So we gave Glenn his presents. And yeah, I just had a shower, carried on like a normal day. But in the back of my mind, I just keep thinking, oh my goodness, I am I'm up on the hill because I can't, um, can't let the kids know yet. I want to tell them a little bit later. Yeah, how amazing. Just, oh, it's like a definite clear line. Like a full definite clear line. So I just like, I just grabbed it so I could have a look again. And I'm just like, what? Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that clear because yesterday it was so faint. Like, I can look at the test from yesterday now and I'm like, where's that line? <laughs> I don't know how I saw a line. And Glenn's like, thought he was looking at a whole different line, like a actual crack on the screen. So, I don't even know what he was looking at yesterday. But I did see something, obviously. Amazing. So, well, there's the question answered. Um, how faint is too faint? Well, it was pretty faint and it was real because this is not faint. Well, it's still faint, but it's very clearly there. I don't know if you can see that again. I have no idea if it's blurry or not. I'm out in the sun. It's so cold. It's like the second day of spring and it's so much warmer, but I really, really, really love sitting in the sun with my baby cat Doinka <laughs> how big and fluffy is he you're gonna be a big brother again again tiger oh, so I can't believe it so I'm actually <laughs> it's crazy but I already feel really sick like really sick and I thought like because all the kids have had stomach bugs all week so I've had that, but I haven't thrown up, but I've just felt, I don't know, I've just felt sick, like nauseous all week. And I know the test has only come up now, so it would only be now that I would be feeling it, I think. I don't know. But I definitely, um, yeah, I definitely feel nauseous and the kids are way better by now, like... If I was sick when they were sick, I would be way better by now as well. So usually I don't start feeling sick when I'm pregnant until I'm about six or seven weeks. And I would like not even be four weeks at the moment. Might be a girl. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. Who knows? But I definitely feel sick. I don't. I go off meat when I'm pregnant and I just... Yeah, I cooked some bacon yesterday and I had to give it to Oliver because I was like, oh, I just can't even stand the smell of it. So it's already happening. Can't believe it. Nine months of this again. I'm going to be so sick, so tired. But I'm going to, this is it. This is like the finish of my family. This is the end. This is the, the last, the last baby. So this is like, yeah, the end of this stage of my life, the having baby stage, which is quite big because it's gone on for 12 years because <laughs> Oliver is 12. Actually, he'll be 13 when this baby's born. 
and um sorry I had to change arms oh, gosh that gets sore so yeah Oliver will be 13 Marley will be Marley will be nine Justin will be four and Austin will nearly be two how exciting and I think like from what I worked out it should be due on the 17th of May but you know when you go get the ultrasound they always tell you it's like further um, not as far along as you think even though I know the date of conception again but yeah I'm totally obsessing over smoothies at the moment they're just so good I hope I don't go off smoothies I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to get really organized and like have like juices fresh juices made up in the fridge so that when I get up in the morning I can just have one and try and not you know try and keep that nausea away because I really hate the sickness I hate it so much I'm gonna end this vlog now please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed um, and especially if you want to follow my pregnancy journey um, I'm gonna do a gender reveal which will be so exciting because because I have four boys and this could be my girl finally if not I'll be so excited anyway but yeah what an exciting gender reveal that's gonna be and then I'm also going to do a birth vlog and I'm gonna update everyone on all my birth stories my past birth stories because they're all very different and very interesting and I love the topic so I'm gonna share my experiences um, thank you so much for watching how exciting what an exciting video I'm so happy to share it and please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time